Welcome back to Zoom TV. I've been exploring here at Custom Cars and Coffee and I've found some pretty cool cars. The owner of this 57 Chev. How are you? I'm Aaron. How are you? Aaron, Rob, very Rob, well. I love your car. I love the paint job. I love the style. I love the name. When you've got a Chevy, well, you're in a, an elite club. I sort of like the 57 Chev from uh, watching the movie Running on Empty, the, yeah. the Aussie movie, yeah. classic. That's where I got really into it and uh, sort of wanted one for a long time. The opportunity came up, so my wife and I sort of decided, yeah, look, let's, let's try and find one and, and do what I wanted to do, really. So this is a bit unusual. So, uh, but yeah, I okay. like, love it. Well, tell us what you've done to it. Well, it's, it's very modified. It's run on a big block Chev uh, with a four-speed auto, uh, running into a nine-inch Ford diff. So yeah, it's got custom interior, digital dash, uh, the bucket seats are out of a Saab. Okay, now what is it that you love about your car that gives you that smile? Oh, I don't know. I suppose, you know, talking to people about cars, I like cars first car I had when I was 14 so um, it, I think it was going to be one of those things uh, I was into cars and it was always going to be that way and this sort of meat is great because it's such a variety of cars yeah it is no so you just don't see the same car over and over okay well yes. I tell you what that's why your car caught my eye I love the yeah, paint job thanks. did you get that done when you bought it or was yeah it no before? the car was a wreck when I bought it it was really rough uh, it was supposedly good but it wasn't so um, I did all the bodywork myself and then had a guy paint it well you've done a great job great thank to meet you very Ron. much G'day mate, how are you? Do you own the big HQ? Yeah, I do mate, yes, Aaron, Jason. Aaron Pitt, mate, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks mate. Tell us about your car. Well, basically 73, 1973 HQ well body ute. Come out with a, this particular model, 253, two, a Trimatic, painted in the beautiful Barbados green by my brother at First Class Panel and Paint. We've decked it out with a 355 stroker now and the T400 with a uh, Borg Warner Commodore diff. Uh, packing about 460 horsepower at the fly. I have you had her up in the dyno. Haven't had it on the wheel dyno, but had it engine dynoed, 456 at the fly currently. Now, have you had it down in the track and just opened her up a little bit yet? I have. Got it down on the, the whoop ass Wednesday and uh, run a 12.4 in it, but not much traction. So, um, look, I, I believe it's capable of um, you know, 11 nines at least and right. uh, won't be happy until I get it. Now, you've got to tell me, how did you come upon the HQ? My wife used to be a, a 2IC manager at Target. She got paid a $3,000 bonus. Um, what better way to spend it than on a brand new HQ for yourself? Uh, look, she wasn't overly happy about it, but um, <laughs> originally bought it, it was black, it was rustic, it was safe to say, sheepskin covers, all the, all the jazz. Probably had it for about eight years now, and um, wasn't pretty when we first got it. A lot of late nights, blood, sweat and tears, but look, yeah, it's paid off. Well, it has paid off. You've got a beautiful car. Keep polishing it, okay? Appreciate it, keep, keep looking after the, the classic cars that are coming back to life. Yeah, You're doing a great right. job. Love the paint job. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Mate, how are you? Good, thanks, buddy. I couldn't help but hear the rumble of your car. I'm Aaron, how are you? I'm Rob. Pleased to meet you. Now, this is tiny. It's cute. How long have you had this, Rob? This has been on the road since 1990. Wow. Yeah. Now, Rob, give yeah. me the stats. Yeah. Tell me about the okay. engine. Tell me about the car. All okay, right. So the car's a 1929 Model A Roadster with a dicky seat. It's got a 400 uh, cubic inch Chev engine in it with a Holley uh, 700. It's got a turbo 350, Ford 9 inch. It's running disc brakes at the front, drums at the back. So all routes, simple package in the context of hot rodding. So no electronics other than electronic dizzy, which means you don't change your points. So it's clean, simple motoring but a lot of fun. And what is it that you love about it? It's topless. It's topless. <laughs> I couldn't love anything topless, yeah. I'll tell you. Um, it's also got the benefit of the rumble seat in the back there. Yep. So that's how you can chuck the kids. Kids, kids were in there. And also because it's open, you could talk to one another, so that was all good. I've heard a rumor that this baby is for sale. It is for sale. It's, um, unfortunately, you can't have too many toys. I've got three other toys, which, um, I need to let go of one of them, and this is the one I've got to let go. You know what you got to do, Rob? Sometimes you got to get a friend, and you got to say, "You can play with my toys." Ah, uh, yes, I've got lots of family does You've that. You got to share your toys. That's what I you do, do share my toys. I imagine the advertising, Rob, down the side next to Zoom TV. That's it. Well, how about we share it to Zoom TV for a fee every month? Okay. <laughs> there you go. You heard him say it. Now, um, Rob. Be I want to go for a spin before yeah. I do. I just want to remind people at home that if you've got a live event coming up, we want to know about it. All you've got to do is go to the website, click on Get Involved, go down to the events page, tell us about the event, send us some videos, maybe some pictures. We'll give it a plug and you never know, like today, we might come along.